<laughs> I hate this. I don't want to do this. Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be doing something that I've been putting off for I think three weeks now and it's time to deal with it. And that is <laughs> this. Um, I know it doesn't look like much but inside it has the wreath dress. Uh, which all the videos are up for this project now. If you're interested, I'll link them down below. Um, but as you can see, this was a project that took me a very long time. It's highly detailed. And so for it, I decided to get one of these like museum garment bags, just because, I mean, I put so much effort into it, I wouldn't want anything to happen to it. Um, so that was step one of figuring out where to keep it. Step two is making this <laughs> fit in here. <laughs> which immediately, just by looking on the viewfinder, looks insane. Um, this is my wardrobe. This is my costume wardrobe. However, it is full. <laughs> it's completely full. And then over here, I have like a little cupboard in this room that has a bunch of clear plastic boxes and uh, those vacuum garment bags with a few more things. And recently my parents moved or they're moving and they've also found in their basement a couple more boxes and garment bags with things that I made that I left with them when I moved to Glasgow. So the things to fit in this room keep multiplying. And so it's time, it's time to do a costume clear out. Now the issue is I love sewing, it's a great hobby I, it consumes my body and soul and I love it. I love the process of making, but the problem is with the process of making is that you are making things and things multiply. And the problem with me is that I get emotionally attached to the things I make, whether I wear them or not, that's completely irrelevant, but I get emotionally attached and then I can't get rid of them. But then my room is full and now I do need to get rid of them. So yeah, <sighs> my plan is to, uh, pick things that I probably won't wear again or I haven't worn in a little while just because I have too much. It's not that there's, I don't like these garments or whatever, it's just I have too much. <laughs> and then my plan is to put them up for sale on Vinted um, just because I, I want to see them go to a new home. I want people to wear them if they can and it's just, yeah. So I'll link the Vinted page down below. They'll all be up by the time this video goes up so you can go check it out if you want to buy any of these things. So I think the first thing we'll start with was the, is the garment bags and box I got from my parents. And that's just so I know what I need to fit between the wardrobe and the cupboard at the end. So the first garment bag is this one. And this is a very simple one. It's still nicely vacuum packed, but this is an 1870s dress. It's one of the first few historical things I ever made. It absolutely does not fit me anymore. Um, I've, I've, my body's changed, but I, Love it. <laughs> so I don't really want to get rid of it. But I probably won't wear it again. I'll put it in the maybe pile. I'll insert a picture. I'm not going to try these on because that would be too much because they're, you know, they span different historical eras and all that. But I'll insert a picture here of what it looks like. Um, it definitely doesn't fit me anymore. It probably won't fit me ever again. So I should just get rid of it, right? Oh my God, there's going to be a lot of this in this video. <laughs> okay. Next garment bag has, what is this? Oh, okay, so this is my level 10 knot cosplay and I believe my Milo Thatch cosplay. Oh God, yeah. Is that all that's in here? Yes, okay. I really do like these two costumes and I might actually wear these again, so I'm gonna keep these. Okay, this garment bag is my first hob l'anglaise. I'll insert a photo here. Uh, it's a little rough, um, but it's a cute first costume and I think I'll just sell this if anyone wants it. I'll do it really reduced because obviously it was my first costume. The stitching's a bit rough. It's not up to my standards anymore, but I will sell this one. I can do it. It's okay. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. I can do it. I can sell that one. It's okay. Deep breaths, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so now I have another vacuum bag. So let's see what's in here. So straight up I can see this really beautiful velvet dress that I made. 
Oh, God, it is beautiful. It was meant to be like a Renaissance inspired historical modern make. It has this like chiffon frill at the front, some hand beading, a zip. It's really pretty, but I never wore it. I wore it once for like Christmas Eve, I think, when I made it, and then I never wore it again. And I think it 100% does not fit me anymore. So this will be going. Oh man, this was one of my dream cosplays. Um, this is the card captor Sakura dress from the movie. Uh, I'll insert a photo of me wearing it. It's a very big poofy dress, very anime. I worked really hard on it. It's got like these really beautiful puffy sleeves and it's made of this lovely pink satin with like a huge train. Look, in the wind when you turn, this is incredible. Um, and I've got all the accessories for that, which include like a little choker and some shoes and stuff and like a garter and the wig. I still have the wig for that as well. So I think I'm gonna sell this as a whole costume. It was absolutely a dream cosplay for me and I'm really glad I got to do it. I just don't really cosplay from anime anymore. So I think that can go and hopefully someone will get to wear it again because I think I only wore it once when I first made it and then it's just been in this box. Okay. Then we have my knot cosplay. This is really cool. I made these really cool like trousers, like really baggy trousers. And this lovely, I love this fabric. I have like a tiny scrap of it left over that I'm saving for something special because it's just great. It's just a beautiful charcoal. I don't even know what it was. I think it was like a cotton, cotton twill or something, but it's really nice. And these were super cute. Maybe I could wear this just day to day. I don't think so. I'll sell it as a whole costume. And then it has like this really cool vest thing that I like weathered and it's got like this hood. And then I did like all of these hand done details with the binding and like all of these, um, like I tried to weather it. And so I like cut rips in it and then sew them together as if it was like mended. It's a cool costume. I just, I've got level 10 knot and I don't think I'd be wearing this original version anymore. So I am going to sell this too. And then in here, we have my Anna cosplay. This is Anna from Frozen. Oh, I really like this. I'm gonna keep it because I think this was a really nice costume and I still have the wig for it. And it was a really cute costume to wear all together. So I'm gonna save this one. I really like it. And then I've got this, which is a beautiful skirt. It had a, a top that I made, but then I cut it up to redo the top and then I never did. But this is still a cute skirt. So I might just sell it as a skirt unfinished and then someone can finish the waistband and keep it if they want. That fabric was banging. It was like this blue satin, but like really smooth and pretty. <sighs> I love that. Okay. I think that's it for everything that was outside of the wardrobe. <sighs> so I guess we should tackle the wardrobe now. <laughs> uh. Okay. <sighs> so. This is the wardrobe. Ah. So up here, I've just got a bunch of utility fabrics, including interfacing, linens, cottons, coutils, like just utility fabrics is what I call them in my head. And then we've got a bunch of costumes here. And then we've got all my corsets and stays up here. And then petticoats, uh, bum pads, and a little bit of fabric overload at, overload at the bottom. So I'm just gonna go through this and see what I can get rid of. Um, None of this. Definitely not that. Nope, I just made that. This. This I absolutely love. It's a beautiful little cape that I made. What is this? Oh, it's a belt. For a different costume. Um, 
I absolutely love this. This is a beautiful velvet cape that I made a while ago. I just, I don't wear it. And I've made a new cape recently and I think I'd rather keep that one. But I just think this is utterly stunning. Should I keep it? Maybe I'll wear it. Like I hand sewed all of these trims. This is a vintage trim that looks like leaves that I love. Maybe I should keep it. I haven't worn it. Mm. God, it is kind of glorious though, isn't it? I mean. What would I wear it to though? I don't attend costume events. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna put this on the maybe, on the maybe pile. And then I'll decide. Maybe I'll do an Instagram poll. Uh, this I don't wear at all. But I do love the lace that I used on it. Okay, so I'm going to do something that's very, very Victorian of me. But this blouse I made a while ago, it's just a beautiful silk blouse. Um, I just don't wear it anymore. Because I have loads of other blouses that I wear. But I can't part with this lace. I bought this lace specially in Spain when I was there and I can't part with it. So I'm going to do something that's very Victorian and Edwardian, which is I'm going to pick out the lace because I hand sew it so it'll be very easy. And then I will either sell or donate the blouse. It's really pretty though. This dress is going to go. I already made up my mind about this because I've been thinking about it for six months. Oh, I do love it though. I made this Victorian inspired house dress. There's a video about it here on YouTube if you're interested. I wore it a few times. It's really comfortable. That's why I wear it all the time. I think it's super cute. And in the summer, it was really light to wear. It's just made of 100% cotton. It's lovely, but I don't wear it anymore. It will go. I can do this. I can do this. Okay, I kind of want to keep that and that and that. Ah, oh, this can go. I don't wear it. I just, I don't wear it. It's okay. So this is my bell inspired little 18th century caraco dress, uh, jacket. It's really beautiful. I absolutely love it. It was a great product to make, but I just don't wear it. It's a hundred percent linen and really expensive linen. Cause I wanted to try and match. I wanted to be as screen accurate as possible. And I think it is like, super cute but I just don't wear it and if I don't wear it why am I keeping it you know someone else can wear it but it's so cute they all go I don't wear it I don't wear it I don't wear it why is it here why is it here you know it can go it can go okay yep that stays oh boy this doesn't fit me but I love it, so I'm keeping it. Yellow. Stay, 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 stay. Okay. So I have made some space in here. It's not a lot of space, but I think the breathe dress might be able to fit in there. totally fine right <laughs> right <laughs> even though I really do like it this is a modern corset in an incredible pattern drafted by my friend Helen and it's just an incredible incredible corset the pattern that she drafted is incredible and it's in beautiful satin uh, with like proper boning this is not a historical corset this is a modern corset but it is still really good, but I don't wear it. 
and they can go. So I'm just gonna close this and pretend we did more progress than we actually did. But wait, that is not it. <laughs> because I still have the cupboard to go through and my actual closet. Okay, so in this bag I have Okay, I think I can get rid of one of these. Yeah, I will. Just because I don't wear it and I already have a different dress that I'd rather wear. So this is a beautiful 1905 inspired morning dress that I did. It's got a huge train. It's made of this like black uh, cotton drill, really lightweight, really nice. Um, and then it has like this really crin nicely crinkled layer over top and it has loads and loads of lace and I think it's beautiful and I really enjoyed this project but I don't wear it and I have a different Edwardian black dress so I don't think I need two. I will insert a photo of it here just because it's beautiful. There's a video on YouTube here about this as well. But I'm also going to get rid of this. I just found this in the, in the closet. This is my screw patterns dress form and it's all right um, but I've got a different dress form as you can see. I don't need to, it's taking up space. Why am I keeping both? So I'm gonna sell her, or if that's too hard because I think the shipping will be pretty expensive, I'll just donate it to a charity. Hopefully it'll be useful to someone, but it can go. I've kept onto it for like over a year. I haven't used it. It's just taking up space. It can go. Over here we have the first thing I properly made, which is a Merida dress. I'm gonna keep it for uh, sentimental reasons, but I will be getting rid of the wig because I won't be wearing it with a wig. I'm just keeping it for sentimental reasons. And in here, <laughs> I think this is the first cosplay as well that I had, which is a bot Vampire Knight cosplay, which I will be selling as well. I used to, be, used to be a big anime girly, and you can see. It's actually really well made. I mean, I, I bought it online, but I think it, it worked really well. I only wore it once. Ah, okay. Some of these things can go, for sure. Okay. This can go. I don't wear this. This is a really beautiful Renaissance-inspired princess dress kind of vibes. It's got the most beautiful fabric for sleeves. I'll insert a picture here of it worn. It laces up the back with these beautiful little things that I made. And um, I think this was entirely self-drafted. It has boning in it and a pack placket. And I love the fabrics. I bought them all in France, uh, in Spain. But I don't wear it and it's taking out space and someone can wear it. Someone can make a beautiful TikTok or Instagram reel running around in the woods in this. Yeah, it's really beautiful, but it can go, it can go. Don't cry, it's fine. Okay, and then we have, this is my 1840s dress and this I will keep. It was a really momentous thing for me. It was my YouTube photo for ages, so I'm keeping it. And then we have a bunch of empty bags. Uh, okay. So this is an 1860s ball gown. It's one of the first few things I made, but I, I can't get rid of that. It doesn't fit me. Didn't fit me then. Won't fit me now. Should I get rid of it then? Oh, I can't wear it. I'll just get rid of it. Okay, it's going. It's a beautiful dress. I'll insert the photos here. I worked so hard on it. It was one of the first few things I ever made. It's got, the fabric is gorgeous. I got it in New York City. I don't wear it. It doesn't fit me. Someone else can wear it. Sell it. And then over here I have my Hermione dress and the issue is I made it years and years ago. It was a big challenge. I was really proud of it. I feel incredible in it. I don't support JK Rowling. By the way, this is not a turf supporting account. So if that's not for you, move along. I don't support Harry Potter in any way anymore. I will never wear it again because it represents that franchise. I'll keep it because I, I as a, a, a effort of my work, it means a lot to me, but I probably won't ever wear it again. 
over here is my Elsa tea gown, which I made a couple years ago now. I have no worn photos of it, so I'm going to keep it in the hopes that one day I'll have worn photos of it. So that's it. That is it for the cupboard. So I'm going to tidy up a little bit just so I have some more move space to move and then we can go into my actual water. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a mess. Okay, so the first few things from my actual wardrobe are actually in this room because they were in my UFO pile. Um, these are things I had plans for and then never got around to. So this really cool, I think it's a 1980s, but kind of looks like 1940s or 50s dress. Um, I really liked and I was going to, I was going to use it to show you on a video how to raise the waist because you can see it's just a little bit too long on the waist for me because I'm really short waisted. I never got around to it and I don't think I ever will. So I'm going to sell this dress because it's beautiful, it's in great condition, it's a beautiful shade of lilac and it can still make someone happy instead of languishing away in my pile for years. Then this is also in my UFO because when I made this skirt, it actually didn't fit me. Didn't fit me then, won't fit me now. It's a beautiful skirt in this beautiful wool mix suiting that's got the best weight. And it's based on a 1940s pattern. There's a video about it on here, I think. Um, I'll insert a photo of it as well. But I just, I don't wear it, it doesn't fit me. It can go. My plan was actually to tear it apart and make a new one, but when am I going to do that? <laughs> uh, this is a beautiful linen cottagecore inspired blouse that I absolutely love, but I just don't wear. I've got I've got it in red as well. I've made a wearable mock-up of it, so I think I'll keep the wearable mock-up but sell this one because it's just beautiful, and someone should wear it. <laughs> and it's 100% linen with these really cute wooden buttons at the back. So that's going on vintage as well. Okay, so that's my UFO pile. I'll take you, I'll take you into the other room so you can see the mess over there. So this is my actual wardrobe with my clothes. And as you can see, it's also full. This is like a mix of modern fashion stuff that I've bought over the years and stuff I've made and I just I, I can't live like this anymore there's no space so I'm gonna get I'm gonna give some of the, I'm gonna I'm gonna get get rid of some okay I can do this okay I have 6,000 white blouses because I find them super useful but I do not wear all of them so my least favorite ones can go that's one okay this one can go because I don't wear it and I have it in yellow <laughs> so this is a 1860s Garibaldi shirt I made. It's the first one that I ever made. It's got these beautiful big sleeves and this really beautiful 100% cotton ticking. I just don't wear it because I have a mustard well yellow one that I wear more, so this one can go. And I think this will make someone very happy because it is a beautiful blouse. The stuff that is more like fast fashion, I think I'll just donate. Anything that I've made or could be used as like a historical thing, I'll sell. Um, this is a really beautiful like 1840s dressing jacket in like this, uh, it's just this type of silk that was like really popular mid-century, I can't remember the name of it now. And it's got like all these beautiful little lace details and like, I bought it off a like vintage account online because I thought I could wear it as like a dressing gown for when I'm getting ready in videos and stuff. But I've actually found I'm just too afraid to wear it. And I've actually, my friend's grandma has just given me a very similar one and that one has more emotional attachment because obviously it comes from my friend's grandma so I'm going to keep that one and I'm going to sell this one because I think this will make someone really happy look how beautiful it is like oh I do love it it's stunning you can go beautiful 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 I don't really wear either of these I would like to wear them more but I just don't reach for them this is a beautiful um 1940s pattern I used in this really beautiful um, swallow patterned rayon viscose. Is it rayon? It's like a, I don't actually know what fabric this is. 
but I really love it. It's such a beautiful dress. I do have a photo of me wearing it. I'll put it in here. I just don't reach for it very much because I don't wear pink a lot. You can go then. This will look stunning on someone. Just too many skirts, you guys. This doesn't fit me. I used to wear this skirt all the time when I was at university. It's 100% leather. It's this suede and it's just really cute and I love it, but I don't wear it because it doesn't fit me anymore. And it's, it's gonna go, it's gonna go. Okay. I bought these trousers in the event in the hope that I would wear trousers more often, but I just don't. Um, they're really smart trousers and whenever I wear them, I did feel like I was like uh, a mid-century explorer kind of vibes, you know? But I just, I don't wear trousers that much, so they can go and make someone else happy. Hopefully that's given me a little bit more leeway. Okay, thank you so much you guys for helping me through this. I just, I don't think I would have done it alone because I've been putting it off for three weeks and unless I had to film it, I probably wouldn't have done it. Just because I find it really stressful and I get really emotionally attached to all the things I make and I have and then I start thinking, oh, but what if I need that in the year, you know? If you're interested in any of these pieces, I will link the profile vintage down, uh, the vintage profile down below and keep an eye on my Instagram stories because I'll put some stuff on there as well. And thank you so much for decluttering with me and helping me because I had you guys to talk to. So I feel like I've been way more ruthless than I would have otherwise been. And yeah, I'll see you all very soon.